tank. <gasps> There's still a fish inside! You need water! Hang in there, little guy. I'll take you to the sea. He's getting away! Come here, hero! No, stop! You need a bath! Oh, hero, look what I've got! Hero, come back! Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Zari! Hi, Leo! I rescued a weird-looking fish. There isn't enough water in its tank, so I'm going to release it into the sea. That's a fish? I think so. I'm sure you guys can figure that out. Gotta go now! She hung up. I have to look it up on the computer. Wait for me, Katie. See you later, stinky hero. Let's see. Zari found a blue spotted mud skipper. Mud skippers are amphibious, which means they can live on land and in water. On land, they breathe by retaining water in their enlarged gill chambers. They can also breathe through their wet skin. Although they are fish, mud skippers are more comfortable crawling around in the mud than being in the water. In fact, they could drown if they can't get out of the water. So mud skippers don't belong in the sea. Let's hope she didn't throw it in yet. All done, Leo. I saved the fish. Zari, that's a mud skipper. It doesn't belong in the sea. It could drown. <gasps> Uh-oh. We have to get the mud skipper out of the sea. But I don't know where it went. We'll be right over to help you find it. Ranger out. There's no time to waste. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here we go! Mud Skipper! Mud Skipper! Oh, what have I done? I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Oh, there's a piece of wood with something on it. It's the Mud Skipper! Uh-oh, seagull emergency! It's over there! Hold on! Stay away, seagulls! They're not leaving! It says here that predatory bird calls can scare seagulls away. Let's try an eagle call. It worked! Here, Zari, use this to get the mud skipper. Thanks, Katie. Come on, Skippy. There you go. Now let's take Skippy to a place where he can live happily on land and in water. <gasps> Shark! Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Sorry about that. I was teaching some fish to swim. What are you Rangers up to? We're bringing Skippy back home, but we're not sure where that is. Hello, Skippy. I know just where to take you. Mud skippers are usually found in mangroves and mud flats on the coast. A mud skipper skips by curling its muscular body sideways and then pushing against the mud to spring forward. It can also crawl on the mud by using its fins and tail. I'm sure Skippy's going to love the mangroves. What do you say, Skippy? I think he likes it. To the mangroves! Sorry, Hero, but you'll have to wait here. I think Hero's found another mission. This way, Junior Rangers. Ooh, look, Skippy. You have so many friends here. Be free now. Hmm, they don't look too friendly. <gasps> Stop! No fighting! Maybe the mangrove isn't right for Skippy. My friend, Ranger Kyrie, might tell you otherwise. Hello, Ranger Kyrie. Hello, Ranger Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. Hi, Ranger Kyrie. Is it normal for mud skippers to fight? I understand you may be worried. Mud skippers may look aggressive because they must protect their homes and potential partner. During low tide, they will create many pools in the mud. They use this to keep their gills and skin wet as they hop through the mangrove 
from one pool to another in search of food, partner and burrowing spots. The mudskipper must maintain its burrow such that every time the tide goes out, their burrow will still retain some water. And every time the tide comes in, their burrow is not flooded. With all this hard work, it is only natural that they would passionately protect their homes. Mudskippers are part of the food cycle in the mangrove ecosystem. They are carnivores and they hunt for crustaceans, worms and insects. And in turn, they become food for bigger animals like monitor lizards and birds. Some research suggests that their burrows aid in the growth of young mangrove species. Without mangroves, there will be no food for the mudskippers and we will not have any fish, crabs or prawns to eat. Mangroves also help to protect our homes by serving as a buffer between the open sea and our homes. It helps reduce the strong waves so that our homes will not get flooded and protect the coastline from erosion. Mangrove forests are facing threats from pollution and littering, so we need to practice good habits to protect our environment such as throwing litters properly. Mudskippers have no tongue. So what they do when they want to catch their prey is they keep water in their mouth and when they see them walking by, they actually pounce, eject the water from the mouth, engulf the whole prey in water and suck it back in. It may sound disgusting, but if you have no tongue, this is what you have to do to catch your meal. During breeding, different mudskipper species display different courtship behaviours. Some of these include the male mudskippers leaping as high as possible to attract the attention of the female mudskipper. The male mudskipper will also perform a unique dance and display their colourful dorsal fins to catch the female's attention. When successful, the female mudskipper will follow the male into his burrow. Thanks, Ranger Kyrie. You're welcome. Ranger out. Ranger out. You were right, Ranger Rocky. This is where Skippy belongs. Oh no, not again! No, it's different this time. It's almost like he's dancing. That's right, Skippy is trying to impress her. Nice move, Skippy! Bye, Bye Skippy. Skippy! Hero, we're back! You definitely need a bath now. <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. I'm glad we got Skippy home. Leo, come help before Hero escapes again. Finally, a clean hero. Ah! <laughs> and a clean Katie. Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers.